So while we are talking hockey, we're going to switch gears now and talk about this book, Hockey Strong. I'm going to bring in my guest now, Todd Smith. Todd, let me tell you, you know, I'm originally from Boston. We know Boston Strong. We know Hockey Strong. What is the inspiration and the gist of this book? Some people are thinking they're getting a nice book about the puck. Yeah. And they get slammed with some pretty good stories. Yeah, absolutely. The, the premise of the book is about uh, stories of sacrifice from inside the NHL. Uh, the story comes out of my own hockey scars that I got when I was playing high school hockey. You don't look like you have any. Well, that's the thing. I mean, I was a total pylon. It's not like I was a great player. <laughs> I was a total pylon, but I got hit one time, left me with a bunch of stitches. Um, I never thought of it until I was older. And... Um, I remembered everything about the injury. I took that premise, every scar has a story, into the Wilds locker room. First guy I asked was Mike Rupp. And uh -huh. I said, do you have any scars that have a great story? He said, I had uh, half my nostril ripped off, stitched back on, I went back into the game and fought the guy that did it. Why does that not shock me about yeah, Mike Rupp? Doesn't, Rupper, right? right I mean, right. that just sums him all up. And so, but I moved down the locker room and I talked to Charlie Coyle right? Mm -hmm. um, not a fighter at all. And he had some amazing stories. And so I could tie my own experience growing up in Minnesota to professional hockey. Let's uh, hop into one, Mr. Zach Parisi. Yes. This guy takes so many hits. Yes. But you have one story where he lost his chiclet, yes. as you guys like to call it, yeah. picked it up, went, and then tell yeah. us what happened. This yeah. is incredible. So he loses a tooth clean, uh -huh. and it comes right out. They stop the game. He picks the tooth up off the ice. He go, leaves the ice and has a root canal between periods. Really? Right? So they take the nerve out. He starts the second period. And so when I ask him about this, I'm like, where are you? And he's like, oh, there's a dental office in the arena. And I'm like, what are you wearing? And he's like, oh, I'm in my skates. It's unbelievable. He never even questioned it. Loss of tooth. Had a root canal, mm -hmm. didn't take his pads off, and then went right back into yeah. the game for the Start, second period? Started the second period, and then scored uh, in the next game. And when he celebrated, he opened his mouth, and there was a hole there. And this was after he had been pitchforked in the face. I remember that. By Koivu, mm -hmm. like months earlier. Yep, so the he, stick inadvertently came up and hit him under the nose, yeah. right? Yeah, and his scar looked like Charlie Brown's squiggle on his shirt. Oh, my goodness. He I had those that. stitches in New York taken out because he thought the thread was too thick. He didn't like the road stitches, so they re-stitched it. So he had this and then this. It's unbelievable. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, you see Charlie Coyle get hit in the face with uh, a Ryan Suter snap, snapper. Oh and, yeah, we have that picture. Yeah, there right it is, there. right there. And so Total he, zipper right yeah. there. So that's a, yeah, and Charlie Coyle said, I just went into the locker room for repairs. <laughs> he called that <laughs> repairs. <laughs> and then he went you know, back into the game and then he, he tells me later that he was also playing with a separated shoulder. And then they beat Colorado. They go into the second round of the playoffs to play Chicago. He separates the other shoulder. And I asked him what, he, what that felt like because he led the team in hits, right? So uh -huh. how does it feel to lead the team in hits with two separated shoulders? He wouldn't even answer it. I mean, he just simply said everybody in the locker room was hurt. Yeah. And... You know, who am I to sit out? Who am I to not play? You know what it feels like? What? <laughs> feels like hockey, right? <laughs> Yeah, that sums it all up. All right, we're going to hit a quick break. When we come back, there's also some hockey royalty in his blood. I mean, you're very cautious about taking some credit for your own play, but his well, dad still a has some pretty good stories, too. There's <laughs> more with Todd when we come back. Don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Fox 9 Sports Now. Welcome back, everyone. We have Todd Smith. He is the author of Hockey Strong and also your dad, trainer for Herb Brooks, not only with the Gophers, but with Team USA for yeah. the gold, right? Um, my dad was with Herb at the U um, for a long time, and then Herb got the Olympic job, and he said, I'm bringing my trainer with him. He wanted his own guy in there. So my dad was literally inside the Miracle on Ice and witnessed countless, just priceless moments. And one of those was when they were at the Olympics, uh -huh. and it's the first period after in there, they're losing to Sweden. Herb comes into the locker room and just goes nuclear on Rob McClenahan. 
my dad was right there between them. And, and a herb calls Rob McClanahan the worst thing, the clean version, calls him soft. Uh-huh. Because uh, McClanahan is hurt. And um, my dad is just thinking, what is he doing? It's only, we're one period in at the Olympics. And it escalates. They start calling each other names. It spills into the hallway where now they go into the hallway and it's Herb McClenahan and they're nose to nose swearing at each other. And my dad's the one in between them. My dad looks down the hallway and there's Team Sweden in, in the intermission, like retaping their sticks. And my dad's just saying, like, what is going on? But then they go back into the locker room and my dad realizes that the whole air of the locker room has changed. Herb has lit the fuse. Now they're all angry and you flash forward, McClenahan um, goes on to win the gold medal. He scores the winning goal uh -huh. in the gold medal game. And what is this video that we have of he and Mike Ruzioni? Is that what we have? Well, Ruzioni scores yeah. against Russia and then the camera, that's uh -huh. my dad right there. Where's your dad? Right there with the goggles. Oh, and gotcha. The, yeah, yeah. And so Ruzioni scores and then it flashes to um, the bench, and there's my dad shaking the towel. It's just classic, oh, right yeah. here. There he there is. There he is. There's my, that's my old man right there. I always thought, you know, that's where the movie Slapshot kind of got their inspiration for the characters. Yes. I'm just teasing. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm he's, teasing he's his dad. own character. I'm really, yeah. I'm really teasing. Yeah. And you know what? I have to tell you, I say I'm 28, but I remember when I was a little girl and saw that because, you know. Being from Massachusetts and Mike Ruzioni, it's yeah. just, it brings back memories. Absolutely. You can't even stop talking to people. Yeah. We saw each other in like the uh, aisle yeah. of the uh, store the other yeah. day, and we just started talking hockey, and then Sean Podine walks by. I'm yeah. like, only in Minnesota. So yeah. when we come back, we're going to wrap things up. But Todd, if you want to get all these stories, you have to check this book out. We could talk for hours. Hours. And we only have coffee here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, hockey talk and coffee, we'll yeah. make a new thing, right? We'll good. be back with more after this. Okay, Todd, so we're ending on this. What are we seeing here? Yeah. Oh. oh, Colorado versus Detroit. Uh, Lemieux hits Draper from behind. Draper on the Red Wings breaks his nose, oh. cheek, jaw, orbit bone. He blacks out in pain, wakes up in the dressing room. His first instinct is to put his pads back on. He has not seen himself. The doctor says, where do you think you're going? He says, I'm going back in the game. His first instinct was to put his gloves back on. I mean, the players just amazed me. I had years ago, I told you I had a chance to talk with Clint Malarchuk, yeah. showed me his neck scar, then took his tooth out. Yeah. Like, all right. And I just, I mean, you just got to love it. So he's Todd Smith. There are pictures. There are stories. And if you want to get the book, where can we get it? Uh, anywhere fine books are sold. Barnes & Noble, <laughs> Amazon, Subtext in St. Paul, and... Uh, Wild Grumpus. I'm glad this is a fine book. I did yes. not tell him to say that where fun yeah. books are so. All yeah. right. Todd, thank thanks you. so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's awesome. I love this book, and thank you very much for the Cam Neely hockey card in there, Absolutely. too. I really appreciate it. Bam thanks, bam. everyone. We'll see you again tomorrow night right here at 945. I love this. <laughs>